Hey everyone, it's Hans here with Angler's Covey. Welcome back to our Bug of the Month tying video. Today we're going to be going over how to tie the classic San Juan worm. This is a great fly for beginner tires, uh, especially for just getting thread and material attached to the hook shank. And if you stick around to the end, we're going to show you a little hack for mass producing these. Let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and tie the San Juan worm. I've got a 2457 or similar hook in the vise here. This is a size 14. We're going to be using ultra chenille for the body of the worm. You can do this in all sorts of different colors. You have this kind of natural worm color. Browns are good. Purples, reds. To start off, stuff comes on a card. You're going to pull some off the card. Notice how it kinks from where it was sitting around the card. That's right where we're going to cut. So we'll cut right at the kink. Come to the next kink. Cut there. About a two inch section or so. Then we're going to come with a lighter and singe the ends of it. Just helps to give it a nice natural taper. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and start our thread on the hook. I'm using 6 aught uni thread and tan here. Start it behind the hook eye, do our jam knot to lock everything in place, and then we'll trim off the tag. I'm going to lay, I'm going to spin my thread counterclockwise to flatten it out and lay a thread base down to clear down the bend of the hook with touching thread wraps. Once you get a little bit past the barb is where we're going to tie in that, or do our first tie in point of that worm material. So I want this chenille to sit about 50-50 on the hook shank. So right about here, I'm going to hold it in place. I'm going to do a pinch wrap. So I'm going to bring my thread upwards. I'm going to push that thread through my fingers. You can see I've got some slack in it now. I'm going to go underneath and then wrap my thread around that hook shank and pull up. It's going to put a thread wrap on there. I'm going to lay four or five more thread wraps smack dab right on top of that one. Tugging hard, making sure my material stays on top of the hook shank. From there, I'll pull that worm material back. I'm going to progress my thread forward to where it's hanging right about the hook point here. Okay, I'll pull that worm material forward and bring that thread up and over and put another four or five turn thread band here. Thread wraps right on top of one another. I'm going to pull that worm material back again, progress my thread forward until it's sitting right behind the hook eye here. Again, I'm going to pull the worm material forward with my bobbin hand and use my material hand to bring that thread up and over and lay down three or four more good wraps. Now I can whip finish. You can whip finish right on top of the worm material or pull it out, pull it back. I like to start my whip finish, then I'm going to balance my bobbin on my pinky and use my thumb and index to pull the worm out of the way. I can sneak my whip finish right up under that and cinch. And we can go ahead and trim off our thread. Now something I like to do to give this just a little more detail, make it look slightly more realistic, is come in with a darker colored marker. And if you just mark the back of it, it'll give that a two-tone effect to the worm. Which makes it look real nice and stand out from all the other San Juan worms. And there you've got San Juan worm. Super easy fly to tie and the absolute standard when it comes to worm Im imitations. Alright, so that's the San Juan worm. You can tie them in endless amount of colors as far as the chenille goes and all sorts of different colors of markers. And we've got all that stuff in the shop here. Let's get to that little hack we were talking about earlier. If you want to mass produce these, what you can do is you can take your card here. We're going to cut the corner of the card off at an angle. And then we're going to sneak our scissors up between the card and the chenille. We can cut all of these in one swipe. Okay. We'll come to the other side now. Cut the corner. Again, sneak our scissors up between the card and the chenille. Cut them all in one go. And there you've got a whole bunch of worms ready to go. So you can mass produce those babies and get them done in no time. I hope you guys enjoyed tying the San Juan worm today. Make sure you stay tuned for next month when we go over our Stillwater deep dive. We'll see you next time. Worm today. Damn, man. Started off so good getting so fragile here now at the end. I know.